Jean Keeley and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to show you my February fabric haul. Now I did say in a previous video that my fabric storage which is behind me is quite full but I've sewn quite a few things this month and also I've seen some beautiful fabrics around so I have bought a few different things um, and I do have projects in mind for them. So my first fabric is from Sherwood's Fabrics and this is a website I came across after someone had posted a list of fabric shops on Facebook and they have lots of beautiful jerseys, lots of florals which I particularly like and they have a lot of Lady McElroy fabrics which I do really like as well and I know the quality is really good for their viscose. So I went for this one. So this is a viscose jersey, really lovely quality, really nice thickness and it's not overly stretchy like some viscouses can be. I really love the colour of it, this beautiful bright green and the little flowers on it and I bought two metres of this and I'm planning to use this fabric to make my dress for the dressmaker's ball. So I recently got a ticket to the dressmaker's ball because some people have decided they can't go now. So I, I'm using jersey because that's what worked for me and I'm actually going to make the same dress that I made for the socialite soiree apart from I'm going to change the back so it's got a v-neck at the back or like a wrap at the back and I'm going to make it full length as well, like kind of like a maxi dress style. I thought that would be really good because it's not really like a ball dress uh, and actually I've been seeing some really beautiful uh, makes that people have been putting up on Instagram already. But it's something that I would wear again, I could wear it to maybe a wedding or I can wear it to the year 11 prom this year or I could just chop it off and then wear it on holiday and things like that and so I think that that's going to work really well for me rather than making a dress that I'll spend a lot of time on maybe and then not wear again. I really like the idea of wearing a dress again. So really beautiful fabric and actually I'm going to make the dress out of this but I might order some more of it to just make a normal day dress as well because I really love the colour and it's so nice and bright ready for the summer. So that's the first fabric. So my next few fabrics are from Like So Amazing. So I went over to the shop and bought some fabrics there. I had headed over to get one particular fabric, which I'll show you, but there were so many other lovely fabrics there that I decided to get as well. And it was really nice to go to an actual fabric shop um, in Bristol. So that was really lovely. So if you are in and around Bristol, definitely um, head over there to check that out. So the fabric I went to get was this one. Now this looks like a really small amount of fabric and it is, but that is because I've already cut a uh, top out of it. So this is a jersey fabric, but it's got these really cute little toe beans on it. And these are slightly raised up, so they feel quite squidgy. They're like foamy almost. And I've decided to make a Frankie tee by Tilly and the Buttons from the stretch book out of this. And I've got this really tiny bit left. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to make kind of a t-shirt or something where I block with different fabrics uh, just, just to use up the rest of that. So that's a really cute one. The next one is this. So this is a jersey knit rib fabric. And I've got this the same in a light grey that I bought a little while ago and I wear that blackwood cardigan that I've made out of it loads and loads and loads and I thought actually this charcoal grey is another basic colour and I'll be able to wear it kind of in the spring as well because it's never that warm in the spring and I just thought it was another basic colour. I have been trying to get rid of kind of black from my wardrobe but actually I'm seeing some really lovely fabrics with black as a background but also um, charcoal will go with other colours like green and things as well rather than just sticking to navy so that's why I went for that one although I am tempted to try and look for a navy version of this because I've got a cranberry version so I think if I had a navy as well that would kind of fill up my cardigan selections and I'd have one to wear with every outfit so that's that one the next one is this one so this is an art gallery fabric, it's a cream background with this kind of blue black stripe um, in these kind of abstract patterns and I'm doing my series at the moment about jersey tops and I'm making a few different jersey tops and so I just wanted some more fabrics, I just bought a metre of this to make a few of the jersey tops out of just to try out the patterns and things. 
so once I've tried them out in some cheaper fabrics I will make the my favorite ones in some more expensive fabric but I think this is a really lovely lighter color to wear during the spring and summer I'm gonna make just a short sleeved t-shirt out of it and then I'll be able to wear it with jeans and skirts and things for the summer then and it will go with a darker color cardigan over the top which I think will look quite good so that's that one I also bought just some plain cotton jersey um, I wouldn't necessarily mention this but it's really really high quality so if you are looking for some just white cotton jersey to make a t-shirt or to add to a make then please check this out because it was really easy to work with it pre-washed well and it's really nice and soft but not too thick or uh, overly stretchy sometimes cotton jerseys are so I just wanted to mention that one if you are looking for just a plain white uh, jersey and that one has already been cut out because I made a Freya t-shirt out of it. And the last fabric from Like So Amazing is this. So this is a dark blue confetti fabric, a really nice cotton jersey. And I bought this with the idea of maybe making a Freya dress or something like that. So I want to make basically a t-shirt dress or maybe a raglan sleeve t-shirt dress, I'm not sure, but that just hangs back and front without the waist seam, because I think that's a little bit more casual maybe to wear with leggings or something for the weekend. I'm quite tempted to get back into wearing leggings again. So I bought that one for that, but I really like the blue background with the little dots, and it's not like a uniform dot, they've got a slightly different texture to them. So yeah, really like that one as well. My next two fabrics are from So Me Sunshine and you will have seen these already if you watched the announcement video for the Sewing Patterns and Prints Challenge and I'll link that below if you're interested in joining in on that challenge. This challenge is metallic so you're sewing something with a metallic fabric and already I've seen some really beautiful fabrics online that people have been posting to say they might make something out of but these are some of the ones that I picked up to make for some of my makes this month. So this is a fabric I've had an eye on for a while. So this is the Atelier Brunette fabric and it's a da is the Dazzle Dust fabric. And it is a sweatshirting, but it's a very dark blue, almost black, with this little gold speckle on it, almost like hundreds and thousands. And I'm going to make a jumper out of it. I'm not sure what jumper yet. I've been having a look online to see if there's any other jumper patterns. I may be quite interested in making something with like a twist or a tie on it or I might just go for a standard jumper. I'm not sure yet, but I do need to make the decision fairly quickly if I'm gonna get much wear out of it. Well, actually, I still wear jumpers even in the summer in England, so <laughs> I will still wear it even then, um, and then there's next year anyway. So I'm not quite sure. I've got quite a few different um, patterns that I could use, but I'm gonna keep an eye out and just have a look around and see if there's anything that I want to make with this. If you've got any suggestions for jumper patterns or sweater patterns, um, please comment them down below because actually I am a bit stuck and I am looking for some patterns that are slightly different rather than just a standard shape because I want to just build my skills and have something slightly different in my wardrobe. The next one from Sony Sunshine is this beautiful white and green stripe and I have been, been finding myself more drawn to stripes recently at one point I was like no I don't really like stripes but actually um, I've been looking at a few recently and you will have seen I've bought a few recently uh, because I'm just finding myself more drawn to them so it's really interesting to see how styles can change but this one is a light green and then it has a metallic green thread going through it as well so really excited to make that into something and I bought a metre of that, so I'm going to make a t-shirt. Again, I, to be honest, might just make a Freya t-shirt because I've been making a few of these recently and the pattern works really well. Or I might make a uh, Frankie T, but then I've got the pattern match it, trying to match the stripes on the shoulder, which I don't really fancy doing. Um, I will try and match them at the sides, but actually having the sleeve going the opposite way isn't an issue for me. But Again, if you have got any t-shirt patterns that you really like the look of, um, comment below to say 
what might work really well for this. My next two fabrics are from Lamazi Fabrics and I bought them for Metallic March so I didn't have very many metallic fabrics or glittery fabrics or shiny fabrics in my stash so I did buy a few and I haven't just bought them for the challenge I do really like them and I know that I will wear them and I think that's why it's taken me a little bit of time to actually look and find some of these fabrics because actually I was looking for something that I am going to wear so this fabric has popped up on Instagram a lot in the last few days and lots of people are buying it and a uh, lot of people have got it back in stock although by the time I post this video it might be out of stock um, but it's re this really beautiful kind of scattered star fabric so it's got some stars and glitter patches and then it's got some white as well and it's a just a really lovely quality cotton jersey. So I got it from Lamazi Fabrics, but I know So Me Sunshine had some as well, and she just got some more in. And Pin and Sew has got some in at the moment as well. So yeah, check that out for those fabrics. So I'm going to make, I think, an ED top out of this. So I'm thinking that this would be like a going out on a night top, or just going out for dinner, or wearing it on like on a weekend. So I'm going to make the slash neck and a short sleeve. So really looking forward to using that fabric as well. The other fabric I got from Lamazi Fabrics is this one. So this is another one I've had my eye on for a while. It's got this beautiful triangle pattern on it in gold and blue. And I think I'm just gonna make one of my standard jersey dresses out of this. I'm not quite sure yet, but I think that would look really nice, just a t plain t-shirt dress in that one. My last few fabrics are from Stoff and Steel. So I had a look on there because I know the quality of the fabrics there are really lovely and actually I've really loved the makes I've made from the fabrics I've got from there so far, like this one. And so I went on to have a look if there were any metallic fabrics but just to see if there were any floral viscuses so I can make some more dresses for work because I find I find that some of my dresses are looking a little bit faded and things now. Um, but then I have ha had them for one or two years and I wear them like 30 times. I wear them like every other week for the amount of time I wear them. So I do get my wear out of them. So I went on there and bought a few different things. So the first fabric is this one and it's a viscose jersey. And it's got this beautiful green leaf on it with a black background and a little white flower. I thought that that would just be perfect because the green kind of shows a little bit more. So I'm going to use that to make just a dress for work. I'm thinking of hacking a few patterns together to get a slightly different look than my normal dress. But yeah, looking forward to making that. Maybe even a wrap dress. Um, yeah, looking forward to making something with that one. And the next one is this. So it's a cotton jersey 100% cotton but it's got these little bees on and then a stripe and I'm going to use this to just make a t-shirt out of um, but really love the little bees on this with the little dot of glitter on them perfect for metallic march I'm really looking forward to making a t-shirt out of this I think that will look really cute with a cardigan and a pair of jeans not sure what pattern yet again I'm having a think about that then I got this one so this is another viscose jersey and it's got it's this lovely um, teal green background with black and pink flowers this came out of the wash and I was like I swear those flowers weren't pink I think they were they didn't change to pink there was nothing red in for them to change uh, but yeah really pleased with this one as well I have bought quite a few green fabrics this month which actually is really lovely um, so yeah gonna make another dress out of that i'm not sure if i'm gonna make a work dress out of that or not but you know i spend so much time at work it's like 10 hours during the day i actually want to be wearing really lovely dresses because it makes me feel much better about being in work for 10 hours a day and the last one is this one it's not in the pile because it's still um drying because i washed it and this is just a green teal uh, viscose jersey so really lovely colour and I wanted to buy a few more planes again I've got a few plain viscoses in my stash and I'm not sure what I'm going to make with this but if the fabric I bought for my 
dressmaker's ball dress isn't enough i think i bought a few more i think i bought more of this so i actually might be able to make it out of this instead although i don't like the idea of wearing a plain dress because i feel like i wear patterns all the time and so that's part of what i like to wear <laughs> so those are the fabrics that i bought in february well right at the end of february um really looking forward to making lots of things with those and trying out some different colors like the greens and patterns like the stripes so keep your eye out on my instagram if you follow me to see my makes from those and i will show you them in my makes video for march Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.